Hi YouTube. I'm finally back with a video. I've been so busy with school and work. I haven't had much time to do anything. <laughs> much less my art. Um, but anyway, I am doing a haul. Woohoo! Lord knows I needed another haul. Um, this is going to be my second to last one for the year. I'm going to be doing a no-buy from November to March, which is my birthday month. Um, but basically, I've, I've pretty much almost got everything I've been wanting to try. I just have a couple more things I want to order next month, and then that'll be it for a while. I'll be using it all up, so I'm super excited. But anyway, um, I have a couple things that are just from a couple different places. It was over a period of a few months, so I didn't just go on some massive spree. I wish. That's my dream come true, but <laughs> it's a few years down the line yet, I think. Alright, so anyway, I'll start with probably the least interesting items, and those were actually between, I don't know, Meyer and Michaels, believe it or not. But, anyway, then we'll go into Dollar Tree, and then the other things that I purchased. Alright, so... First off, it's back to school season. That's already pretty much past now. But I have got these Ticonderoga pencils. I don't need any more pencils, I'll be honest. But I'm such a sucker when it comes to back to school supplies. Any type of stationary um, pencils, pens, implements, <laughs> erasers. I love it. So I saw these neon Ticonderogas and I couldn't resist. These are my absolute favorite pencils. I draw with them all the time. They're scattered all over my desk here. Here's some little stubby ones that are getting pretty beat up, but I love them. And that's it. I don't need to buy another pencil for the rest of my life, I promise you. <laughs> um, so these are just the regular size barrels, and for some reason I thought it would be a great idea to get these children's pencils. I just liked how big these were. <laughs> I didn't even open them yet. I just really like the novelty of the size of this and how they had to include their own custom sharpener. These are the triangular barreled Ticonderogas, and they're aimed at children, but I thought they would be fun to draw with, especially on bigger surfaces like large canvas or paper. So that's what I got at Meyer. Mm -hmm. And then the Michaels haul is probably the most boring part of the haul, but also the cheapest part of the haul. They probably cost less than these pencils. So Michaels had their clearance. They had 80% off set up, just uh, bins throughout the front of the store. And they have these little mechanical pencils. These were 80% off, so I think they were, were what? They were originally $4, so what's 80% off of that? About 50 cents? I don't know. Super cheap. I think they were 49 because they're $3.99. And then they had these index cards on the rings. I love these. And not only for school, but for when I'm planning my comic pages or projects, I like to do a lot of thumbnails, and I could use these for thumbnails. But they are normally $1.99, and I think I got them for just a few cents. I think it was like 20 or 30 cents or something crazy. They were so cheap, and so I got all the ones they had, and I think I spent like $4 for all this stuff, so I was super excited. Um, but I've got a bunch of uh, comics that I'm working on right now, and then these would be perfect for doing my thumbnails. And it keeps everything in one, one space, so I mean, you could do however many chapters you're doing, of thumbnails and have it all clipped together on a ring so I really like this idea I like that they were so inexpensive and then you can use the blank part obviously for the drawing itself and then the lines to write out the dialogue or whatever's happening in the scene so um, that's something I really want to do so I'm very excited for that don't ask me when I'm gonna do it because my schedule is booked for the next year and a half but <laughs> we'll get there eventually um, so that's it for that. I did get two things at Hobby Lobby, but they're not super exciting or anything. It's just something I've been needing to get. I kind of have all of my artwork just in these regular uh, plastic folders that I've had forever, but they don't fit. And I don't like when you spend a lot of time on a piece of uh, work and the edges are getting all curled up because there's not a place to store them. I should get a proper portfolio. I don't have one. It is what it is. But they have these poly... Uh, folders that you can get at Hobby Lobby and you can put a little insert in here for the cover 
they're just a little zippered pouch. They're acid free though, so that's great. And then they've got a bunch of different sizes, but this is a 9 by 12 and an 11 by 14, which are the most common sizes that I use. So I'm going to be putting my larger pieces that don't fit into those folders into here to protect them. So not very exciting, but a necessary evil. Next up is the Dollar Tree, which I love. I didn't buy these though, so I guess I can't really take credit for that part. But these are from my loving mama. She spoils me so much. My brother and my brother-in-law and I are doing ink Inktober. Um, you know, have whatever opinion you have about the creator. I don't know. Anyway, we're, we're just doing the challenge. And we uh, wanted to find a little sketchbook to use for that. And she got this little 50-sheet book. She got us each one. And it's not the greatest paper. Let's it, it, it is what it is. I don't really care. It'll be enough to ink on. But it's acid-free. I've never really seen that at the Dollar Tree, so I'm kind of excited. But I really liked how small this was. This is a good uh, book that would fit in my purse, so I could take it with me everywhere. And it's 50 sheets. So, what? You get about 100 pages total. You could do, what, two, two and a half or three pages a day if you really wanted, which is almost the same as doing a regular full-size piece. A lot less intimidating than our 600-page sketchbook. So, I'm very excited for that. But, we're going to use these for our Inktober. And we didn't have to go out and buy anything, because Mom got it for us. So, woohoo! Super exciting. Didn't expect that. Then she got me these Crayola crayons. I've been on a crayon kick. She didn't know I was on a crayon kick, but she knows I love crayons and anything and all things art. So she got me these six little sets. I can't even tell if the camera is showing this. Do, do, do. All right. And I already have a couple of these that she got me before. I just have a big bag of my crayons. I have a 24 count, Colors of the World, and then a bunch of these little sets. But... I hadn't seen these pastel ones, or these cosmic crayons, or the uni crayons, so I'm really excited to try those. I saw the neons, but I don't know why. I never bought them myself, but I've got those now, too. I already have these from her, but now I have extras for when I use up those. I've really been liking to use these in my sketchbook on days that I'm super busy, and I don't have a lot of downtime to bust out a bunch of pencils or paint or anything so this is one of my favorite go-to drawing supplies just to get a quick lay down of color if you're making concepts for something you can just slap some color in there real fast they're portable they're convenient and they're cheap so super excited if I like them I might end up getting the bigger boxes they I've seen them at Walmart and other places for the 24 count sets but right now these are perfect for what I'm doing so, now I'm talking so fast, we're moving on to the more exciting things. I guess I did get a couple more things at Dollar Tree that I didn't really talk about. Uh, they're not anything special, but I really like these plastic bins for art supplies on the desk. I keep my main stashes of pencils in these glass cups and things, and I have those off to the side. And these were just kind of nice to transport around the house or wherever I'm coloring at or wherever I'm working so I do like those and they're just a dollar so I have a couple of them sitting around here with all different things in them but yeah those little caddies are pretty neat and they've got some fun colors if you want anything like that so moving on to the super fun part colored pencils my passion my love my favorite super excited um, so I've said before in another video maybe another one even before that I don't know I don't have that many videos, so it wouldn't be hard to find, but I love these uh, Faber-Castell Design Spectracolor pencils. They're discontinued, so you really can't find them anywhere anymore unless you're buying them used if you get lucky and find someone with a set. I've got these colors left over from a set I was given when I was younger, and they're getting down there and I haven't been able to find anything like them. So I've been trying to find some brands that would perform similarly. So actually, Faber-Castell has the black edition colored pencils. They look very similar. Major difference is the barrel is a triangular barrel instead of um, the round one. And I guess these pencils are marketed 
in Brazil and that's their target audience for these but I don't know why I really love these um, I don't know why they would just limit them but you can get them on Amazon or eBay or I've seen them a bunch of other places too but the prices seem to kind of vary depending on the retailer um, they are wax based and I think they're more so aimed at children but as far as how they color they are so similar to those pencils that I love so much Let me see I got a little test page over here uh, let me just name some things some pros and cons pros um, they're kind of what I'm looking for <laughs> I don't know what the pros would be for anyone else triangular barrel if you like that kind of thing I don't really care um, there's quite a bit of cons I'll be honest let's, let's just get it out there they don't match the color dip ends which most pencils don't but I mean these are really far off the mark this is kind of a scarlet red and when you color it it's this maroon color doesn't look anything like that very dull there's not a lot of dark colors for me that's the most important thing there's really no darks you got I kind of did it on that page there but you've got this brown okay you can make it dark if you press hard and hurt your hand you got black you have this kind of uh, is this the blue? Or is it a little different blue? I think it's this one. You've got this navy blue. And again, I'm putting maximum pressure on these. And you got this violet. That's it. No other dark colors. It's a 36 count set. And you got four darks. So not a lot of tonal variation going on here. Um, that was a little bit disappointing. But I have so many other pencils. I can add to that and make it work. Probably my personal biggest complaint is there's no Tuscan Red, okay? This other set of Faber-Castell pencils has the best Tuscan Red. I just love it so much. And we don't have that color in this set. Out of 36 pencils, you couldn't give me that. And now that I'm laying this next to these, these almost look a little chalky compared to that. But that's okay. For the price that they were, which honestly was too high for this set, I, I'm content with them. I do like how they performed. And... With that, I guess I can show you a little bit of what I did. I don't have a lot that I've done with them. I haven't really done any full-fledged finished pieces where they've been roughed out and drawn out on nice paper, but I've been playing around with some characters of mine from some projects. This little doodle is incomplete, but I've been trying to mess with the lighting and just see how the colors can layer up and blend. They layer pretty decent, but after a while you get quite, quite a bit of wax bloom where you can't put any more color down on top of it with those pencils, but you can get prismas or something softer and it will show up on there usually but this was just some fun little scenes with some characters in mine and I got this page here this is something fun I really want to turn into a bigger uh, drawing and um, maybe use some watercolor and colored pencil together I think that would be fun it was just a girl in a little dress and she's supposed to be in front of a wall of vines and flowers and I didn't get that in detail with the concept but you get the point and then I had recorded this video. This was just a little doodle I did on this paper. I started out swatching and then I got to doodling stuff and then I started coloring and then I just ended up falling in love with these little things. So now they will be with my artworks. But this is somebody just bent over her desk looking around in her office. I did a little background. I used colors together that I normally don't and I that was, I think, the most fun part about doing that. So these were fun just to play with the pencils. Those are all just those Faber-Castell black editions so you can kind of see how they perform. Obviously these aren't you know masterpieces by any means but I had fun with them and I really like the pencils so far. I've got a couple of nubby ones already too that um, I should mention that to add to these uh, cons is a couple of the tips just fell out of the pencil <laughs> so they lost about a good uh, maybe a good inch half an inch in height already that's okay though I kind of expect that especially with a cheaper pencil now these are marketed at kids but they really are getting over on this price 36 pencils and they want to charge $26 on Amazon that's more than you know that big star joy set that's 120 pencils that are way better quality than these so I know they're Faber-Castell but with them being children's pencils and not 
artist quality. I feel like eh, the price is a little high, but it is what it is. I still bought it, so <laughs> didn't deter me in the slightest. Along with my little mission here to find the perfect Faber-Castell pencil dupe, I finally broke down and bought these Black Widow pencils. I did not need them at all. But when I tell you this set, especially the original Black Widow, is so similar to these pencils that are my Holy Grail pencils. I mean, I cannot. I just, I was over the moon. This color, not so much with this set, but there's another set in there that it's really similar. You got that red. They have a Tuscan red or something very close to one. This was that blue. This color and this color, oh my gosh, I was swatching them out. Not on a swatch sheet because I'm lazy like that, but I just colored side by side and it was almost identical. Some of these colors are almost exactly the same, which is what I've been wanting. And I was the happiest girl in the world. Look at this. I'll just show you. Got the Black Widow. Whatever color this is. Zephyr Blue. And then this color, which is Indigo Blue in the Spectra color set. It's almost exactly the same. I just can't. I can't believe that. And, let me see. They have this light sienna or sienna something. I don't know. What is it? Sienna brown. Oh, it's just sienna. And then this color, not exactly the same, but very similar. Look at that. I can just put them right next to each other. You can see a slight difference, but it's almost exactly the same colors. Don't mind how rough I'm being with these. Um, I just, I don't know. I was so excited to see that. I've been searching for these pencils for so long. And I just can't find anything like them anywhere. And these are so close to it. I just couldn't get over it. I was so excited. Let me see. I didn't do the oranges. Let's just, I'm curious. I don't think these oranges really match this one. But this 24 set is only $15. Oh, no. That's yellow. It's very yellow. <laughs> Maybe this is like an ochre. I don't think that's going to match at all. Stink bug. No. So, not in this set, but... As you can see, I got more than just that set, so <laughs> I'm sure I'll find something that matches them within these other ones. I got the Black Widow one, I got the Scorpion one, and I got the Cobra one. And this was over the course of a few weeks, so it wasn't like it was just me dropping all this all at one time. Um, although, if I did, I probably wouldn't have regretted it because they are pretty much exactly what I've been looking for. I'm so excited to use these with those black edition pencils. I really do like those black editions. I was so impressed. These are both uh, wax pencils. All of these, I think, are wax pencils, if I'm not mistaken. But I just couldn't believe the similarities, some of these colors. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and go through every set on this video and show you. But when I tell you those Spectre Color pencils have been my holy grail for years... I mean, you can just imagine how excited I was when I finally found some that are just like them. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I have these three sets. And in my final haul of the year, when I get that order, I haven't bought everything. Or really any of it yet. I got a couple more things I want to try. I plan on getting the Monarch set and possibly the Skin Tone sets. I don't normally buy Skin Tone sets in pencils, but... I love these so much, I might just break down and do it. <laughs> and if they got that amazing Tuscan red, it's over with. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me in that color, but I just love it so much. So these are my Black Widows. And I am just, uh, I don't know. Some people, there, a lot of people really, I've noticed, especially within the coloring community and even in the art world, Prisma colors are kind of their holy grail, gold standard, but they've never really been mine. I've always loved those Spectra colors, and I don't know why. It's not that they're a better pencil, but for the way I like to color, they're better for me. Um, Prisma colors, they're so saturated right off the bat, and they're so creamy. It's kind of hard to go back. If you start out too heavy too soon, you can't really fix that. <laughs> but these, you can just kind of ease in and layer up and... They don't have as much of a wax bloom, in my opinion, as the Prismas do. The Prismas kind of get waxy pretty quick. Um, but these have always been 
to me, uh, one of the best pencils. And I was so excited to find something that finally performed similar and had the same color families and ranges. Even in some of these other sets I have, I don't have colors that match. It's always just off enough where you couldn't blend those together. So this makes me feel comfortable that if I use those up, I'll still have those colors. I'll still have something that's pretty much the same product. And, and the black wood. I don't know what it is with that black wood, but something about that I just really love. So these have black wood. They have the same colors. I'm a happy girl. All right. Now, now that I've gone off on this crazy tangent, um, I have one more thing that I had purchased. And this I finally broke down and bought. I was waiting so long. I don't know what exactly I was waiting for. <laughs> but I got Faber-Castell Polychromos. I'm super excited for these. Never tried these pencils until I got this set. Um, I didn't want to buy a massive set to start out with since I never used them before. I didn't know if I would even like them. I'm a layering kind of person, so I felt like I kind of would get along fine with them. And I was right. I do really enjoy how they lay down. But, oh my gosh, when I first got these and I opened this up, the first thing I noticed immediately compared to any other pencil that I have is how big these cores are on the pencils. I mean, they're massive. Look at that lead. I just couldn't believe how big this is. Um, the pencil itself is pretty big. And when I used them immediately, I knew, I knew why people were saying those star joys were so similar. But they perform the same, but they don't have the same thickness and they don't have that nice wood smell that these have. But oh my gosh, I regret waiting so long to try these. I guess I was kind of afraid. I don't know why. I get stupid with things like this. I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to be that person that just buy these this brand because everyone says it's so great and I don't want to just jump on the bandwagon. Who the heck cares? You know, I wanted to try it. Finally got them. Um, and I'm happy with them. This is a smaller set. This is fine for me though. I don't need hundreds of colors. I have hundreds of colors, but I don't need them because I usually gravitate toward more of the normal colors. So that's my challenge too next year is to use up some of these colors I never color with. <laughs> but this is the perfect set for starting out. You get enough that you can layer and blend and build up a bunch of skin tones. There's not specific skin tones per se, but this color, this color, this color, this olive -y green, and then of course you can always use red, blue, yellow to um, build some good skin bases. I'm just, I was very impressed with these. And I honestly, I don't regret it. I feel like they are worth the hype. They're worth the money. I just don't need a big set. So for now, this is perfect. Um, just to get familiar with them and to play around with them. And then I always mix all my products together anyway. So I can see myself just using all of my other sets along with this. I'm so excited though to color with them. And I can't wait to do some bigger pieces. I've got a lot of cardstock. I've been waiting. I've been waiting so long. It's it's so hard. I just can't wait to be done with school. You don't even know. Of course, then I'll be starting transitioning to my new role at work. And But I'm fine with that. I want to just move on and get to where I have my free time back again. Because basically, my free time is school. <laughs> and all the other time is work. And... Uh, it's so hard when you're a creative and you just feel like you can't create or you can't create to the fullest extent that you want to. And let me tell you, once I graduate, it's over with. I'm going to just be going art crazy. It felt so good. I did that challenge through August and I was so in love with it again. I had gotten away from drawing for so long and it felt so good to have that to look forward to every day. I've been trying to still draw every day, at least something, even if it's, you know, these little type of concept drawings and doodles and I have my sketchbooks and things, but I can't wait till I can devote hours every day to it. So anyway, that's this haul right now. I mean, it's quite a lot of stuff. Five sets of pencils. That's a lot of sets of pencils. It's so funny to me now. I think about this, and I don't ever want to take this for granted, but I just remember being younger and not being able to even buy a set of Crayola pencils or to how big a deal it was when in art class we got that Prismacolor Premier set. That was just 12 pencils, but I was so excited to have those 12 pencils because that 12 pencil set was like $25 at the time. I couldn't afford that. I didn't... It didn't work. 
and when I did work, I, I don't know, I just, it always felt so wrong and so gluttonous to spend that much on some pencils. <laughs> I don't know, there was always this kind of mentality that one pencil is as good as the next. Well, that's not entirely true. <laughs> and uh, so I always felt guilty even thinking about uh, buying something like that. But now that, you know, I'm an adult, I can uh, buy these things that I'm interested in and maybe it is a little gluttonous, even if you don't buy it all at one time, but if you're using it, then, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm just so excited, so thankful, and I can't wait to come out with some new drawings. Then I can stick them in my new folder that fits the large paper. <laughs> it's so funny the things we get excited about, but anyway... I guess this kind of was a haul and a mini review, but I'm, I'm going to do a more in-depth video with my Faber-Castell pencils. Um, I did a kind of a coloring, color along, color with me type of thing. I just, I can't format the video right. I dropped my phone at school the other day in the parking lot and the screen is totally shattered. So it's been an adventure trying to navigate around that and still use it. It's still functioning, so I don't want to just get rid of it, but I'm trying to get it to where the little glass isn't falling out um and I really like this phone I haven't had it but but a year I think so anyway that's another whole story who freaking cares but um it really put me behind on some things with using the phone and I was hoping I was going to be able to stick to this posting schedule of doing every Sunday while I'm in school I guess in theory I could but I haven't um sometimes I just sleep <laughs> I'm so tired. Sometimes I just sleep. But I look forward to doing more and sharing some more work. I want to do a proper color along and proper draw with me's now. I have a, a mount for my phone that attaches to my desk so it doesn't wiggle all around and I don't have to maneuver around a tripod stand weighted down with a bunch of books. So now that I can do a proper video, I want to do more proper videos. Now I will say, disclaimer, I'm the least aesthetic artist or art enthusiast that you're going to meet, so don't expect these full-on productions like some of these other people are doing. I don't have it in me to do that. Not at this time, but I appreciate a modest video. Um, some of my favorite videos are the more simple setups, and they feel more authentic at times, so anyway, I'm rambling now, but thanks for watching. I hope you get inspired today, and maybe you got a couple new things that you wanted to try, and you're really enjoying them, so... Everyone have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to me. And if you have any comments or you want to share anything you bought recently, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Um, and that's all I got. Have a great day.